a little bit of sewing and I'm going to show you how to make your very own concertina face mask. So first thing you need to do is to pick your fabric. I've got several fabrics that I'm using at the moment because as I'm going through I'm making several masks at the same time and I've left them at each various stage to show you how to do it. So you need um, the fabric of your choice, ribbon, needle and thread, an iron, A4 sheet of paper, pencil, ruler and optional if you want to is the hemming web to seal off some of the edges. With your A4 piece of paper, fold it in half. That's going to give you an A5 sheet of paper. I've used this as my guide for all of my masks that I've made. So I've marked it out as followed here. You can just about see that. So from the edges, I've done 1.5 centimetres, 1.5. The top then is the largest of all of them, and it's larger so that it's got a chance to rest on top of the bridge of the nose. I'll read out the dimensions on all of them now. So that's the first fold, second, third, fourth as we go down. The first line is three and a half centimetres, centimetre, three centimetres, one centimetre, two and a half, one centimetre, and two and a half. I'll come back to that a little later on, but I just wanted you to be able to see exactly the guide that I'm going to use throughout this. So once you've got your sheet of fabric, get your iron out and iron it completely, totally and utterly flat. The fabric should be enough for your A5 sheet of paper to be folded up inside three times at least and have leftover fabric as well. So with that, I want you to iron up your fabric and size it around the A5. So once you've sized it up around the A5, you then should have something that looks like this. And there's my fabric inside here now. I've got several layers, as I've just explained. So that's one, two, three. And then this is the leftover part there that will overhang on the inside of the mask. So there is our mask. Next, we need to use the iron again to put in the creases and the folds of the mask. So with that one, I'm going to show you on this here. So there is our 3.5. And how you do that is lay it flat and then you fold up the fabric. It's quite tricky, so I'm just going to show you here. So along the guideline here, as we're ironing, at the first fold on the paper that you've got, you then fold, so line it up so it's right on top of your paper, fold it then on top there and iron that flat. Once you've done that, you can turn it over and then you can find the guideline then for the one centimeter. Iron that flat. Work your whole way down the fabric and when you've worked your whole way down the fabric, you should have something that looks like this. And there is our lovely little fan. So following the guidelines down to each fold. So then you've got the back and the front. Why it's the front is because the larger one, as I said, is the one that's going to go on top of the bridge of the nose. With your needle and thread, you now need to sew 1.5 centimetres from the edge down here. And you need to fold. I, I sew all the way down once. And then I come back and I sew again. And then if I'm still not 100% certain, I go back again and then I tie off the ends on there. Do exactly the same on this side. If you are finding this a little tough, tie a couple of knots in as you're going through just to make sure that it's there. I did as well use a little bit of sellotape to hold the fabrics together. You can use pins, but... I chose not to because I didn't want to stab my fingers. So sellotape if you need to. Try and keep that 1.5 centimetres at the top because that's going to be the bit on the side. Once you've sewn either side, that then gives you your basics for the mask. What I did then was done my edges. And how I've done that, if you have a little look there, I folded over the corners and I've just stitched them 
in. I've also sealed the inside so that little bit of extra fabric I've stitched down. That there is optional if you did want to use your hemming web as well so that one there is up to you entirely. So now I have sewn all the way down the sides and then once I've done both sides I've neatened up the edges, just trimmed off the edge and folded over each corner and sewn them all into place. You're going to need 40 centimetres of ribbon for each corner and then what you need to do is you need to sew that ribbon onto the corners of each of the mask and I've done mine at a slight angle and there we are ask your parents or a grown-up to seal off the ends of the ribbon for you and there you have it your very own hand sewn mask so now you can tie this up around the front back of your head which I'll do now to show you bring it round and you do the bottom as well and there we go as you can see it sits quite neatly and you can move and breathe as much as you want and because it's three layers thick it's absolutely fine for you to use as a face covering as you're out and about and I would wash them by hand every time you give them away take care everyone bye